multiplying fractions. About multiplying them. Nothing could be easier than multiplying fractions together. Uh, and as you think about multiplying fraction, remember, keep this in mind, when you see the word of in math, when about 98.63% of the time, it means to multiply. So, if that is the case, and I asked you what one half of three fourths is, one half of three fourths, really that just simply means you're looking for one half times three fourths. And then, I don't remember if we did this last year or not, the very simple rule of multiplying fractions together, Brandt, is. Well, we just say we multiply across. which means multiply the two top numbers, multiply the two tops, which are the numerators together, and multiply the two bottoms, and you'll get your new fraction. And then, of course, you need to reduce because I believe that comes today. So if you have 1 half times 3 fourths, you're just going to multiply across. 1 times 3 is 3. Multiply 2 times 4 across. 8. Look at 3 eighths. If you can all reduce it, which we can't, we'll talk about how to reduce it in a second here, which we found last year. Couple more examples, maybe. 4 times 2 thirds. Now, do not panic because 4 is not a fraction, because you, being the incredibly intelligent super sixth graders you are, probably know how to change 4 into a fraction. And don't tell me it's 4 over 4 because that's 1. 4 as a fraction is, Jacob? 4 over 1. Correct. You make this 4 over 1 times 2 over 3. And again, you multiply across. You don't have to make common denominators. That's adding and subtracting. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3. It's kind of a bad, raw deal because you cannot leave it as 8 over 3. What has to happen, Wade? Well, you have to change it to a mixed number because this is improper. Big number over little number. How do I make it in, change it back to a mixed number, Brant? Divide the bottom over. Right. You're going to really, really change it into this problem. You don't have to really write this out because I hope you can kind of do that. And how many times is 3 going to 8? 2 times. With what left over? 2. But you don't leave it as a remainder. You have to make a fraction. It's 2 over whatever this number is. 2 and 2 thirds. Perfect. And then another new blank piece of